Hi guys and welcome for a new cooking video. Pour les Français qui passent par ici, n'hésitez pas à activer les sous-titres. C'est juste en dessous. And for all of you, I wish you a warm welcome I'm back on my channel. And today we're going to make a banana chia pudding. And uh, you know, it's that time of the year. It's spring again and we want to start eating healthy so that we can rock the bikini and the pool, right? So I'm going to present you first what you're going to need. But before we get started, I'd like to remind you that eating should be a pleasure. So please put in your body things that you like and things that nourish you to the best and uh, to live your best healthy life. So yeah, basically there are some ingredients that are going to be in this recipe that you can switch with some others. For instance, it's a banana um, pudding. But if you don't like bananas, you can do it with pretty much any other fruit that you can melt. I think with mango, it would be so delicious and I'm definitely going to try it uh, this summer. But yeah, for today it's going to be banana. Let's get started. I will kind of make you a quick tour of all the things that you need. So don't pay attention to what I have a list here. I'll make it for you. So for this recipe, you're obviously going to need a banana. A ripe banana would be better, but this is the only banana I've got left since they tend to disappear so quickly in my house. Then you're gonna need some kind of milk. I'll use some almond milk and a little bit of coconut milk I have left. I love coconut milk because I think it brings the sweetness to your prep no matter what you make. But obviously you can use whichever milk you like, cow milk or rice milk, hazelnut milk. It really doesn't matter, it's just only a matter of taste. You're gonna need some chia seeds. I use these ones, they're coming from an organic shop. As you can see, they have organic labels and they're rich in omega-3 and fibers. So that makes them pretty good for your brain and for your digestion. If you'd like to have some sweet touch, you can add some honey. I'm gonna be using this honey because I got this cute pack for Christmas, so I better use it. Once again, feel free to replace this with what you like best, coconut sugar, agave syrup, or just plain white sugar, but then you lose the healthy benefits. Another great healthy option would be mashed dates, for instance. Here we have a few more things. So, we have plain almonds, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, goji berries, and pecan nuts. You can use all of this for a topping. If you're feeling a little bit more adventurous, you can also use dark chocolate. But for this time, I really wanted to keep it clean and healthy. In order to prepare and mix these ingredients, you're not gonna need much. You'll need a bowl, a spoon, a fork. You may also use a blender, especially if you use another fruit than banana, like for instance a mango. But I figured that it would be too much dishwash for a pudding, so I, I keep it really simple. I'm gonna start with peeling the banana and cutting it in, into thin slices in my bowl. That way it will be easier to mash. I use the fork to mash it until I get a banana puree. It really doesn't bother me to have a few pieces of banana here and there. I think it adds some texture to the pudding. Now it's time to add some almond milk in my case and the rest of coconut milk. I had the bad idea to store it in the fridge even before opening it and some part of it had solidified, hence the struggle. You mix the banana puree with the milk until you get a rather smooth mixture. And this is the exact moment my camera decided to stop filming. But don't worry, here is a recap of what I've done after. I added 5 teaspoons of my chia seeds. This is quite a lot. It will give a pretty thick texture to your pudding. If you are not fond of thick texture, you can put only 3 spoons of tea. Then I added about 1 small teaspoon of honey. And that's pretty much it. I wrapped the whole preparation with cellophane. I know there are now eco-friendly products to replace cellophane, but I have not yet had the occasion to test them. But if you use this product, I would love it if you could leave your best brands and recommendations in the comments. Now, I take my pudding to the fridge where it has to rest for a couple hours at least. Mostly for the chia seeds to get really soaked, which will give them a jelly texture and consistency to your pudding. I had made another one the day before and since it is perfect time for a snack, 
I will show you how I add some topping, because I'm convinced that eating is a full senses experience, so I want to add colors. I add some pecan nuts, goji berries, and a few mandarin quarters, and it's ready to serve. Because it contains fresh products and no preservatives, I would advise to store it in the fridge for no longer than two or three days. The banana will darken, of course, but this is not a sign of bad taste, it simply oxides like most fruits do. If you want to keep a better looking color, you can add some lemon juice. If you are on a diet or doing a lot of sport, you can totally add some protein powders to your pudding. I would say right after the milk, so that it mingles well with the rest. Personally, I'm trying maca powder these days, and this is the perfect way to ingest it, because I'm not a big fan of the taste. Alright, the magic of editing. Here we are right at the end of the video, and that's pretty much how you make a banana pudding with chia seeds, and it's so delicious, and it's really healthy. Here, once again, do not hesitate to play and mix and experiment. Have it and start in the kitchen, just like help. So, I hope you like this video. If you did, please leave me a thumb up. That would be so helpful. And don't hesitate to share it and subscribe for more videos. My, my YouTube channel is a melting pot. I make videos about absolutely everything from beauty, makeup, to bullet journaling. And sometimes it's in French and sometimes it's in English. And that's pretty much the way I roll. So yeah, that's, that's it. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.